Oh. I wrote the story because I, I see so many people in my life, I see people in, in the world, um, and, I, and I was that way for a long time myself, that are just living their life and they think that life is just happening to them and they're just a part of, they're just, you know, they, they can't do anything about it, they're just a part of this river. Life is just this river and they're just a part of the stream that they're uh, floating through and they can't do anything about it. And, and so many people are wasting their life away. So many people are, um, whether they're blaming God or they don't believe in God or they, um, they just, they're just kind of living their life as it comes and they're taking day by day as it comes and they're doing nothing about it. They're, um, they just think anything that happens to them, that's just the way it's supposed to be. And so I, I wrote this story because I wanted people to understand that, hey, it, it's up to us, it's up to you to, uh, to do something about it. It's up to you to, you get inspired, you get that, that dream, you get the, uh, that idea, that's God's gift to you. But he can't do the work for you. He can't cultivate your mind for you. You've got to uh, mentally be prepared uh, for the opportunities that come your way. And a lot of times we pray, we ask God, you know, just give me an idea, give me a dream, give, you know, show me my purpose, what's my purpose. Um, but we're not prepared for it to receive it when that gift comes, when that idea comes, when that dream comes. And so God gives that to us, but it's up to us to, to, to cultivate our minds and then to bury that properly um, so that, you know, the words of others and, and circumstances don't take that away and then to reap the benefits of that and persist in, you know, long enough to reap the benefits of that, but then to give it back, um, leave something for the world. And so many people will, will either never pursue a dream, will never realize their purpose, uh, or if they do succeed, they never give back. They never leave that seed for, for the next person, um, you know, to pass along to somebody else. Like I mentioned, um, I was inspired by a man named Ogmandino, who's the greatest author that I um, that I've ever read, and he's a guy who lived his life, and he wrote these books, and and he and he he passed away. But through his books, I went through my personal development journey, and I studied, and and it inspired me to do the same thing. And so, um, to me, that was like that life cycle of that seed. You know, seeing him reap the benefits of his success. You know, first be inspired. You know have a dream, follow through it, reap the benefits, but then leave something for me. He passed away years ago, um, but his words are still like those seeds, still inspiring other people to change their life and do something something different with their life. And so that's what I want to do um, with this story. I want, I want to remind people that uh, their life is in their hands and it's up to them to do something about it, to, to, to plant those seeds and to, and to go out and, and make the world a better place and do something different with their lives. So in the story, the story is based in ancient Gaul and around the time when the Romans start to take over and the Romans start to kind of invade and, and, and gain territory. And uh, the main character is, he's this vagabond and he's this, he's this guy, I wouldn't say kid, he's a little bit older, but he, he had those dreams, he had those ideas, you know, he was inspired and he wanted to do something different with his life, but um, things don't work out for him. And so he, you know, and a couple of other things happen, a couple of circumstances arise in his life. And so like a lot of us do, we, um, you know, we quit and, and, and he leaves his, he leaves his uh, village and he goes out and he's just, and he's, he becomes a hobo. He becomes a bum. He becomes a vagabond. And he, he just goes from tavern to tavern and, and he'll drink and then he skips on his tab and he runs away um, because obviously he doesn't have anything, any money to pay for his drinks. Uh, but this one winter night, it's a blizzard. You know, he's, he's wandering through the snow and he stumbles into this tavern and he's just trying to find some heat uh, to get out of the snow. And uh, in this tavern, he, uh, he meets a stranger and this stranger walks in. This, um, this man that starts, you know, buys him a drink because he's, he's about to get thrown out of this tavern. And this man buys him a beer and, 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 he starts, and he sits down with him and he starts prying and he starts asking him about his life. And he starts poking at those very sensitive things um, and excuses and themes and circumstances and and this main character he hates this strange traveler but for some reason um, he, he's he's um, he's moved by him and, and for some reason you know he feels that there's something different about this man and and he has this incredible conversation with uh, with this traveler that starts getting him to think a little bit differently about his life um, and just when he starts warming up to this guy you know this traveler you know gets up 
and, and he leaves and, and, and he's gone. Um, but he does leave them with these, with these scrolls. And, uh, and, and through the story, he starts reading through these scrolls. And each one of these, as I mentioned, these scrolls, they, they go through these four uh, aspects of uh, the life cycle of a, of a seed. You know, the, the, bur- or the cultivation, the burial, the, the resurrection, and the, and the harvest. And, and, he, and it starts changing his mind. And he starts um, thinking about his life. And um, I, I believe my seed for the world is um, what I'm trying to do with this book and what I, you know, was doing with my previous book. And that's the hope for anything I ever put out. Um, anything I ever say um, is to inspire people to to think differently. Just like I mentioned, Ogmandino, my favorite author, and what what he left, the kind of impact that he left um, on me, and for someone to to pass away and to have that kind of impact on someone and literally pull me out of a mindset that I was in and completely turn my life around. Um, I want to do that to somebody else, and I remember. Um, you know, reading some of his Ogmandino stuff and, and watching Jim Rome and some of his speeches. And I remember thinking, um, what if I could do that to somebody else? What if I could, you know, write a book or put together a speech and, and, and get up in front of an audience and, and, and share, share something that, that moves someone, even if it's 10, 20, 30 years later, you know, if, if they can do that to me, a kid in our fast paced moving world, um, what if I could do that to somebody else in the future? And, um, and the moment I understood that was the moment it, 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 everything clicked for me. And, and that's what I knew. I was like, that's my purpose. For a long time, I was running around trying to figure that out and, and asking God, you know, what's my purpose? And what, you know, I, I knew to an extent that we, we were in control of our lives, but I still knew that there is something that, um, that one day you look back, um, maybe standing next to God, you know, at the end of the, <laughs> at the end of time and looking back and he'll say, this is what you could have done. This is what, um, this is what I had planned for you, but, but you missed out on it. And that scared the crap out of me. And, and, and seeing these guys, you know, Ogmandino and these, these, these authors and these speakers, and as soon as I saw them and what it did for me, I knew that that's what uh, I had to do with my life. And, yeah, it's not even a question anymore. I don't question my purpose. I don't question what my seed is for the world um, because I know what it is. And it's th- you know, through my writing, through, uh, through my work that um, I believe I can impact the world. And I hope that you know, even if I impact one person with, with my work that um, I live that life cycle of that seed. You know, I was, I got, that was God planting that seed, giving me that gift. Um, but at that time, I was ready for it. It came to me right at the moment that I was ready for it because I had been cultivated in my mind. I was hungry. I was looking for something um, different with my life. And so I had done the work. I, w- I have been cultivating the soil. God came in with that gift, gave me that idea. I buried it, and I persisted, and I worked, and, and you know, and um, I put the time into it and, and put in the work. And, um, you know, I'm re- reaping the benefits for myself, but the true life cycle of that seed is then leaving something for someone else, letting someone who knows, you know, when somebody reads one of these books, you know, years down the road, I may be dead, I may be gone, but if some kid reads it and it changes their life, that'll be worth it.